accessing and utilising support is vital to successful inclusion. In this section, we explore the many ways the project schools have made use of the internal and external support structures available to them. The concept of support is considered to include all activities which increase the capacity of a school to respond to diversity. Many role players are involved in the provision of whole school support, including, for example, the institutional level support team, the school governing body, the support staff and learners themselves. The ILST, uh, as the acronym quite uh, simply explains, is actually the institutional level support team. And at Claremont Primary School we have a committee of educators and I'm the chairperson of that committee who renders support to the entire teaching corps at the school and our function primarily is to help teachers identify children with learning barriers and thereafter implement intervention strategies that will assist teachers to uh, make sure that the learners with these barriers are able to cope with the curriculum and our function also serves as one where we monitor the progress of the learners on a continual basis and thereafter evaluate the entire program. So the support that's offered is at an institutional level, then filters down to an individual teacher level and then individual learner and therefore it automatically encompasses the other role players like the parents, the uh, circuit teams and the I, uh, the uh, inclusive education teams of the department. So it is primarily to ensure that children with learning barriers are identified as soon as possible and intervention strategies are implemented that are relevant. The individual support plan is a structured way to manage intervention strategies for a particular learner. The help span bespreek um, die probleme wat daar is met die leerders, die leerstoornisse, die leerprobleme, die emosionele probleme. Saam met die onderwijzer dan bedank ons een plan en ons skryf het neer, aksieplanne wat ons gaan doen om hierdie leerder te help. Ons stel ook individuele programme op vir interventie en ons maak die strategie baie duidelik so dat die onderwijsers kan terug gaan klas toe en so dat hulle tyd optimaal benut kan word binnen in die klas met die programme wat ons vir hulle gee. The ISP is an individual support plan. All my learners function on different levels. They are so different to each other and they've got different needs. So I need to address those needs as best as I can and that's when the ISP comes into play. Um, we have a format that we drew up from the CS document um, and we made it user-friendly user mm -hmm. as it is. So the people involved would be the teacher, uh, parents or any other caregiver. The child does not have a parent or if there's a grandparent that is also involved with the child, an aunt, an uncle. And in that meeting we follow a strategic plan. So we start and we, we listen to what the child, who the child is, background of the child, and any important information that we can use. And then we see where the need is. So each person sitting there at the end of the day has got a job to do. The teacher's got a job to do, the parent, the psychologist, the OT, and the granny, the, the uncle, in sort of supporting this child, because we know every child can learn. They just learn differently and at a different pace. So all the role players will come together and they will, we will s s seek and see how we can support this child inside of the class and outside of the class. The learning support teacher is also a crucial role player in the provision of support to the whole school at an institutional level. The learning support teacher as well, also a, a, a very, very good resource to the mainstream teachers. We send our learners that need support to her and she lies with us what, as to what we as teachers can do in the mainstream class to support that learner even further and um, activities that we can do, whether it's academic work or whether it's um, motor skills that needs to be improved, like their handwriting, their low muscle tone. So different things that we can do as teachers in the class. 
Not only does the learning support teacher work with groups of learners outside of the class, but also works in the class co-teaching. At Swartbach Primaire, co-teaching effectively demonstrates strategies to the educator and has been very successful in improving learner achievement. The school governing body can promote inclusion at the school by ensuring policies, for example admission and behaviour policies, reflect good inclusive practice. A committed and lively school governing body is an asset to any school. The school has a very good infrastructure. What I mean is that the school beheerlicham is so betrokken by alles, ook met ons um, IEWC's. We gaan ons het hulle ingesit, hulle het inzette gelever, wat nogal vir jou kan sê, dat hierdie mense draai, hierdie school, sy kinderse belange op die hart. The vital role of the support staff at a school can never be underestimated. When I started here, um, I've got that love and passion for children. And um, um, seeing a child not having something to eat, it, it really touches my heart and I just spoke to the Lord and I said, Lord, just lead me wherever I need to go and I think this is where I was led in. Uh, children coming to me, small little children coming to me and asking me for a piece of bread and you know, with that compassionate heart, I cannot send those children away. So there are many times I even dig in my own pocket, I, I don't make it known, but uh, that is how I, I, I like, like to go on my leg, just to help children because, um, you know, hunger is something not very nice. The tummy, and if a child don't eat, then a child cannot think. I have to say that the young people are bullied. I have to say that the young people are bullied. I have to say that the young and I think that there are other plans to get the children to get the children half before the time. And then they will not come to the school. And that is the And the children can go back to the class and they can rest on the school. And they are good and they are given. So yeah, the children can go back to the school and they can get the children to get the children. Inclusion is everybody's business and all district officials are involved in the process of implementing effective inclusion in the classroom, the school and the wider education system. Capacity building is a high priority issue. Guidance is provided for the identification of barriers to learning and the development of individual support plans and relevant staff development programs are offered and to develop the educator skills to address diverse needs and barriers to learning in the classrooms and in the school. Constant support from the inclusive education team from the education department. We have uh, a visit every week to our unit class teacher where they discuss specifically those learners with uh, learning barriers. However, I am quite pleased to note that the inclusive education team at the education department has hosted quite a number of workshops which sort of empowers us to become more independent and become more uh, focused on trying to solve the problems that we have at our school level first and then when it becomes a need to invite the school psychologist or the inclusive education team from the education department, we can always call on them for their support. They have rendered support, they have offered their support, and I think it's very important for us to empower the teachers and to build capacity within the school. Because the reality is, the first port of call to solving a problem is with the teacher in the class. Support from the district comes from the different pillars, in particular, specialised learner and education support. Schools also make use of the circuit teams. We work very well together with Mr. Anton Kritzinger, the school schoolkundige, which for our leaders is scholastic, which also helps with training. And then is there also my friend Inge Schreve, the school maatschappelijke werkster, which also on a general basis comes, understanding bit, leaders come training give, and we have a very good understanding with them. They come sit gewoon ik en soms weet je dat er die tijd eet bij ons vergaderings wat ons eet, zodat is bij een goede samenwerking tussen ons en alle. The special schools, which have been designated as resource centres, 
also provide outreach to support full-service schools via the IE teams. The outreach what uh, Western Hobo Resource Centre, um, what I facilitate there is uh, we come on a termly basis with the OTs and the next day we come with the physiotherapist and the next day we come with the speech therapist and uh, they actually share their, their knowledge and their expertise which is one of the roles of the resource centres with the full service schools. So we have a lovely workshop where we all um, sit together and the OTs and the physios and the speech therapists bring programmes and um, whether it be perceptual skill workbooks, whether it be phonological awareness, whether it be um, games and exercises, um, the physiotherapist would assess seating and apparatus exercises. Um, and all this knowledge is just shared and then it's been monitored and it's been followed up, which is another important aspect. Mm -hmm. there's, there's one thing, you know, give in support mm -hmm. and then you walk away. But what actually happens after that? So here monitoring is put in place, um, further support is put in place. The following term it is made sure that whatever's been, been um, asked to do, the previous term it's now been implemented as well and followed up. And as the needs arise, so does the support so is the support given and in that way also um, the educator is a knowledge resource on the ILST so whatever resources or knowledge is shared at that workshop will, can then be overflowed and shared to the rest of the school. A wealth of opportunity for support exists outside of the school in the community. Various NGOs and other service providers are able to offer support for reading, bereavement counselling, occupational therapy, social work, etc. I was put in contact with two organisations specifically. First, there was uh, the Shine Centre, and they enthusiastically set up a centre at the school. And uh, they sp specifically aimed their uh, work at literacy at grade two level. Mm. Uh, subsequent to that, I managed to convince them to move it to grade three also, and also to incorporate some math. And together with that, we've had um, another NGO called Help to Read. They do individual literacy support with all our learners, individuals of course, from grade one to seven. Once uh, um, is dark before that was in the afternoon tijd by you. Beide lichame gehad het wat die school ondersteun. Um, ons het die inclusieve onderwijs wat vir ons gejaap het met hoe kan die betrek van alle ledes in die, in die onderwijs opzet en dan natuurlijk ook baie inzette by die opvoeders gegeet wat uh, opvoeders visies ook verbreed het. Dan het ons ook betrokken geraak met die extra mural education program wat uh, specifiek betrokken is met buitenmeerse activiteiten en alles self het ons gejaap om in die gemeenskap in te gaan met die ouders te gaan praat van huis tot huis geloop zodat so ons die ouders kan betrek maar ek denk baie belangrijk is dat baie inzetten wat gelever is en werksessies wat gebied is het vir die onderwijs is baie beteken want het is hulle ook bemachtig.